Hello friends, we're so excited to see you today. How are you guys? You guys doing good? Let me see your thumbs up. Perfect. So today's question, I have a question for you guys. When I say who is amazing, you're gonna say Jesus is amazing. Are you guys ready to help me? Okay, let's do it. Who's amazing? That's right friends, Jesus is amazing. And you know what? I want you guys to stand up on your feet and let's worship our amazing savior, Jesus Christ, because he is amazing. Let's worship together. Can do anything. Wow! Oh wow! Shout wow! Jesus can do anything. Jesus is amazing. He's incredible. There's no one like him. Jesus does miracles, the impossible. There's no one like him. He's big and strong. So I. That's right, Jesus is amazing. I love seeing you guys worship and praise our amazing Savior, which reminds me of our Bible verse from this month, and it comes from Luke 2, 47. And it says this, it says, everyone who heard was amazed, Luke 2, 47. It teaches us how amazing our God is, which I need you guys to help me do our memory verse. Will you guys help me? Okay, friends, let's do it together. Come on, let's stand up together and let's do it. You ready? Everyone who heard was amazed. Luke 2, 47. Amazing job, friends. Okay, it's time to sit down and let's get ready to hear from our friends Ollie in the clubhouse. And you're gonna love this Bible story. Let's check it out. Who, who, you know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have. school with my new toy. I 
learned about gears from my teacher at school. Boys and girls, are you ready to see something amazing? When you move one gear, all the other gears move too. Wow, turning one little gear even moves the bigger ones. Isn't that amazing? Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Peyton. Who? Who? I heard you say something amazing has come your way. I was talking about my toy with lots of cool gears. It isn't just amazing, it's amazingly amazing. Gears can be amazing. It's true. I have a story of someone more amazing for you. Listen to this. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Well, hello, friends. I'm Aisha. Welcome to my cupcake food truck. Do you want to step into my cupcake workshop and see my latest creation? Ta-da! <laughs> it's a cupcake delivery machine. You can choose strawberry, vanilla, sprinkles, chocolate, whenever it comes around. Isn't it amazing? And if you think that is amazing, wait till I tell you today's story. If you're ready, on the count of three, yell, tell me a story. One, two, three, tell me a story. Okay, so today's true story from the Bible is about someone amazing. But before I show you who it is, we need to practice our that's amazing face. Because when you see something that is truly incredibly amazing, your face does this. <laughs> you try it. Show me your that's amazing face. On the count of three, ready? One, two, three. <laughs> yes, that's it. Well, the person I want to tell you about today made a lot of people make their that's amazing face. His name is Jesus. He was born at Christmas, but in today's story, he is 12 years old. Can you count to 12 with me? Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Yes, good counting, everyone. In today's story, Jesus was 12 years old. There he is. Everyone say, hi, Jesus. Hi, Jesus. Now, these are Jesus's parents, Mary and Joseph. They are all on their way to a big celebration in the city of Jerusalem. It was so much fun. When the party was over, they all went home, but Jesus stayed. Let's see where he is. Can you help me find Jesus? Now, if I was a 12 year old kid, I might be by the animals. Is Jesus by the animals? No, I don't see him there. Maybe Jesus was hungry. Is he by the snacks? No, not there either. Oh look, it's a group of grownups. It looks like they are listening to someone. Can you see who it is? Oh, yes, it's Jesus. There he is, we found him. It looks like he's teaching all of the grownups about God. And, oh wow, look at their faces. It's their, that's amazing face. Can you make your that's amazing face? <laughs> yes, the grownups were so amazed at what Jesus was teaching them about God. Jesus was so wise and his answers were wise. No other 12 year old was like him. Jesus was amazing. <laughs> but guess what? Mary and Joseph didn't know that Jesus stayed to teach. They were on their way home and suddenly realized Jesus wasn't with them. So they went right back to the city to look for Jesus. Everyone look for Jesus. They looked and looked and looked everywhere. And then they finally found him. It was amazing that Jesus was teaching grown-ups. He was only 12 years old. 
But Jesus was so wise and knew so much about God. Jesus is God's son and Jesus is amazing. And do you know what I think about that? <laughs> I think that's amazing because Jesus is amazing. Did you like the story? If you did, give it two thumbs up. Two thumbs up. <gasps> hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who is amazing? Jesus is amazing. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is amazing? Jesus is amazing. That's the truth, friends. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus taught grown-ups, and everyone was amazed. Who? Who? Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Jesus was only 12 years old when he taught grown-ups. That's not much older than you and me. Jesus is amazing. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. This toy is amazing, but Jesus is even more amazing. See you next time. Wow, what an amazing Bible story, friends. I learned so much about how amazing our God is. But now it's time to pray together. Will you guys pray with me? Let's bow our heads. Thank you, Jesus, for being so, so amazing. God, you are good. You are always good, all the time. You've been amazing to me. You've been amazing to my friends. You've been amazing to my family. You've been amazing to our church. God, you are so, so amazing. And we love you so, so much. Thank you, Jesus, for everything. And it's in your mighty name we pray. Amen. All right. We'll see you next week, friends. See you later.